OK, well, we might put her in the chair for the next intro. Honestly, George, it's incredible that the people at home haven't even noticed. Oh, the special effects guys are amazing. Apparently, they do carry Anne Kennelly the same way. Oh, oh, you can tell with her. Next week, how Mickey Mouse would look if he was Japanese. When the writing's on the wall, you can always call it art. And that winning mix of B-list celebrities and jogging. Well, it's nearly the end of the show, but before I hit the bars and begin shamelessly hitting on men half my age, I have an extra little something. Maggots. Now, to most people, maggots are just good-for-nothing, rotten, meat-eating, blowfly progeny. But entomologist Rebecca Bullard could see their artistic potential. Rebecca has come up with what she calls maggot art, where maggots are put in pots of water-based paints and then allowed to crawl artistically all over sheets of paper. So now you don't need a government grant to make art, you just need a half-eaten hamburger and a blowfly in the family way. Some of the more successful maggot artists are now wealthy blowflies dividing their time between a stylish beef carpaccio in the city and a comfortable cow pat in the country. <laughs> Bye for now. They call me Dr. Worm. Good morning, how are you? I'm Dr. Worm. I'm interested in things. I'm not a real Doctor, but I am a real worm. I am an actual worm. I live like a worm. I like to play the drums. I think I'm getting good, but I can handle criticism. I'll show you what I know, and you can tell.